Hey there, and welcome back to EDU in 90. Last season, we gave a quick crash course on team drives and shared how this tool can help school faculty easily store, search, and access their files from anywhere. If you missed that episode, we've included it below, so be sure to give it a quick watch. Today, we'll look at some additional team drive functionality and help you and your school team easily manage files and folders, allowing you to focus on what matters most. Let's get going. With a team drive, there could be quite a few files and folders among your colleagues, and we've heard from educators that it's important to be able to sort through them and easily flag ones that are used most often or require attention. This can be done via file starring. Just as you can in your My Drive, you can star files in team drives by right-clicking on a file or folder and selecting Add Star. Later, you can quickly access these files in the left toolbar. As you're getting organized, you might find that you have a few files in a few different locations, but it's easy to pull them into one place with team drives. Whether a file is in another drive location or on your computer or mobile device, you can move files between team drives or from My Drive into a team drive by dragging the files into a destination team drive folder. Keep in mind that in order to move files between team drives, you must have full access to the original drive and at least edit access to the destination drive. A shared hub for your team's files and folders comes with a lot of benefits, but you might be concerned about things getting deleted accidentally. Not to worry, users need full access permission to delete a file, and if that happens accidentally, it's easy to get it back. To restore a file, click the down arrow next to the team drive name and select View Trash. From there, select the file and click Restore. Lastly, if you have edit access to a file, you can share it with collaborators. This can be done with an individual or with a group, like a grade level team. Team drives can send notifications alerting collaborators of their new access, or you can share the file via email or by sending a link. That's all the time we have for today, but we've included some additional resources in the description below. And we know that each school is unique, so our team is always looking for feedback from educators and administrators to improve our tools. In the comments below, let us know what new features and functionality you'd like to see added to team drives. And don't forget to subscribe to the Google for Education channel for more EDU and 90. See you next time. Check out our last episode to hear the latest Google for Education updates on the Applied Digital Skills program, classroom tutorials, and more.